Investing in Japanese real estate is like harvesting a gold mine, and it starts with understanding property rights. Now buckle up as we dive into the world of property rights in the land of the rising sun. Japan categorizes property rights into two main types, freehold and leasehold. With freehold, you outright own the land and the building on it, meaning you've got full control and no time restrictions. It's like being the king or queen of your very own castle. Leasehold, on the other hand, is more like renting the land for a certain period, typically about 50 to 70 years. You own the building, but the land, not so much. When the lease is up, you either have to renegotiate or say sayonara to your property. So whether you want to be a king with a freehold or a tenant with a leasehold, it's crucial to understand these differences. Knowing your property rights is the first step towards a profitable investment in Japanese real estate. In the real estate game, your agent is your MVP. Think of them as your quarterback, making strategic plays to get you the best deal in the Japanese property market. They know the terrain, understand the rules, and have the right connections. So, how do you work effectively with Japanese real estate agents? First, be clear about your needs and investment goals. Don't shy away from asking questions no matter how simple they might seem. Remember, the only bad question is the one not asked. Second, trust their expertise, but also do your homework. Understand the market trends, know the property rights, and familiarize yourself with the local norms. This will not only help you make informed decisions, but also build a stronger relationship with your agent. Lastly, consider having a local representative. They'll bridge the language and cultural gaps making your investment journey a breeze. They'll be your on-ground eyes and ears, ensuring nothing gets lost in translation. A reliable real estate agent can make your investment journey in Japan a smooth sail. Money makes the world go round, and it's no different when investing in Japanese real estate. So, let's dive into how you can finance your investment. There are various options available to foreigners. One is getting a mortgage from a Japanese bank. Many of these banks offer mortgages to non-residents, but the process might be a bit more complex. Remember, it's crucial to have all your paperwork in order to smoothen the process. Another option is securing financing from your home country. This might be a more familiar process, but remember to consider exchange rates and international transaction fees. You could also consider partnering with other investors to pool resources. Each of these options has its own pros and cons, and it's important to do your homework to find what best suits your situation. After all, proper planning prevents poor performance. Understanding your financing options sets the stage for a successful investment. Taxes may not be fun, but they're a crucial part of your investment strategy. Let's dive in, shall we? When investing in Japanese real estate, there are three main taxes to consider. First, property tax, which is based on the assessed value of the land and buildings. It's payable annually and varies depending on the location and type of property. Next, we have the capital gains tax. This is the tax on the profit you make when you sell your property. The rate you pay depends on how long you've owned the property. If you've owned it for less than five years, you'll pay more. Finally, there's a consumption tax on services related to the property, like agent fees or renovation costs. But here's a fun fact. Foreign individuals who are not residents of Japan are exempt from inheritance and gift taxes on properties located in Japan. Knowing your tax obligations will keep your investment on the right side of the law. In real estate, location is not just everything, it's the only thing. Nowhere is this more true than in Japan, where the age-old adage of location, location, location holds significant weight. Japan offers a plethora of promising areas for investment. From the bustling metropolis of Tokyo with its sky-high towers, 
to the serene landscapes of Kyoto, each location has its unique charm and investment potential. Understanding these nuances can make a world of difference in your investment strategy. In the urban jungles like Tokyo and Osaka, properties near train stations, commercial establishments and business districts command higher property values. On the other hand, in quieter cities like Kyoto and Hokkaido, properties with scenic views and proximity to tourist spots have a higher appeal. Remember, the desirability of a location can significantly impact property values and rental income. So whether you're eyeing a compact apartment in Tokyo or a tranquil country home in Hokkaido, keep in mind that choosing the right location is key to maximizing your investment returns. Buying a property in Japan is a journey and we're here to guide you through it. It's a thrilling adventure that begins with an initial search. This is when you explore the market, survey various properties and identify what matches your investment goals. The next step, engaging a trusted real estate agent, a local ally who can navigate the sometimes intricate Japanese property market on your behalf. They will help you in negotiating and finalizing the contract terms. Then comes the all important property inspection when you ensure that the property matches up to its description and there are no hidden surprises. Once you're satisfied, it's time to sign the contract, make the required down payment and complete the necessary paperwork. Finally, you'll register the property under your name and voila, you're now a proud owner of a piece of Japan's real estate. Understanding the buying process is crucial to making a successful investment. Navigating the legal maze of Japanese real estate can be challenging, but we'll help you crack the code. When diving into the Japanese real estate market, it's crucial to understand the legalities and regulations. The first thing to know is that there are no restrictions on foreigners buying property in Japan, whether they reside in the country or not. However, there are certain hurdles you need to be aware of. For instance, the Japanese property registration system can be quite complex. It involves multiple legal documents and you must ensure they're all in order. Then there's the issue of inheritance laws. If, heaven forbid, something happens to you, the property might not automatically go to your next of kin depending on your home country's laws. Also, note that while Japan doesn't have restrictions on property ownership, some financial institutions might be reluctant to offer mortgages to non-residents. But don't let this deter you. With the right guidance and a bit of grit, you can successfully navigate these hurdles. Being aware of legal and regulatory hurdles can save you from potential pitfalls. When in Japan, do as the Japanese do. Now, this isn't just a catchy phrase. It's essential advice for anyone looking to invest in Japanese real estate. Understanding Japanese business culture and negotiation practices can help ensure smooth transactions and may even provide a competitive edge. In Japan, business dealings are grounded in mutual respect and trust. Building a relationship with your counterparts, showing patience and demonstrating your commitment to the long term are all valued highly. It's less about the hard sell and more about harmony and balance. Negotiation practices also differ. Rather than aggressive bargaining, the Japanese approach is subtler, often indirect. It's like a delicate dance where the rhythm is just as important as the steps. They value consensus and avoid confrontation, so be ready for a slower pace and less overt negotiation. Don't forget the importance of face-to-face -face meetings. They're an integral part of building relationships and trust. And yes, knowing a few words in Japanese can go a long way. Understanding the local culture can give you an edge in your investment journey. Staying ahead of the curve means keeping an eye on market trends and indicators. In the bustling world of Japanese real estate, this couldn't be truer. Current trends show a steady rise in property prices, 
especially in metropolitan areas like Tokyo and Osaka. This is being fueled by factors such as population growth, urbanization, and the booming tourism industry. Economic indicators also play a pivotal role in shaping the market. Key indicators such as GDP growth, unemployment rate, and inflation are all showing positive signs, hinting at a robust economy. This, in turn, impacts the real estate market positively. As for future predictions, experts forecast a continued growth in property values. The upcoming infrastructural developments and the increasing foreign interest in Japanese real estate are likely to keep the market buoyant. However, it's important to note that markets are dynamic and factors such as global economic conditions and economic policies can influence trends. Keeping up with market trends can help you spot the next big opportunities. Investing in real estate is a game of risks and rewards, and Japan is no exception. Just like a sushi roll, it's a blend of unique elements, each carrying its own flavor, its own potential, and its own challenges. On one hand, you have the rewards, a stable economy, a growing tourism sector, and a real estate market that's brimming with potential. On the other hand, you have the risks, a complex regulatory framework, cultural nuances, and property rights that can sometimes feel as intricate as origami. And let's not forget the potential language barrier that might have you saying arigato when you meant sayonara. But hey, no investment is without its fair share of risks, right? The key is to understand these risks, navigate through them, with the help of trusted local experts and seize the rewards that await you on the other side. Weighing the risks and rewards helps you make an informed investment decision. So there you have it, the essential guide to investing in Japanese real estate for foreigners. From understanding property rights, working with real estate agents, exploring financing options, to acknowledging tax implications. Remember, location is key navigate the buying process, overcome legal hurdles, and embrace cultural considerations. Stay updated with market trends and weigh the risks and rewards. With these tips in hand, you're now ready to embark on your Japanese real estate investment journey. Good luck!